Doctors in Modesto are turning to the public for help in reducing the amount of panhandling in the community. Despite posting signs all around town, officers say panhandlers continue to beg and people are still giving them money. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Modesto, where a new program is being developed to help the homeless. There are about 20 signs posted around Modesto letting people know panhandling is prohibited and it warns violators are subject to arrest. For close to two years, 43-year-old Pascal Ceballos called the streets of Modesto home. Not knowing anybody, I, I didn't know, I didn't really know what, what to, uh, where to go or, or what to do. He spent three years behind bars for a DUI crash to hurt two people. After prison, he was homeless and forced to panhandle just to survive. What I've, what I've tend to notice about some, some people is that they'll see if you smell like alcohol or, or if you look like you're on drugs and, and they won't, they won't uh, give you any money. But if, if you're sober and you look, you look sober, you look like you need help, those people will help you out. Ceballos eventually found help at the Gospel Mission, just one of the handful of organizations Modesto police officers are teaming up with to get people to give their money to instead of panhandlers on the streets. That's where we become that outlet, so they know that their finances, what's being given, is structured to a place that is being organized and we're providing the services to relieve our community of that problem. Since no panhandling signs warning people panhandling is prohibited went up last year, Officers have seen some change, especially in the downtown area, but they say more work and outreach needs to be done. You know, unfortunately for us, it's a, it's a low priority call. So if we do receive a complaint that somebody is panhandling, um, our officers are actually pretty good and they can spot them pretty quickly and move them along. And Modesto police officers are working closely with four service organizations to get people off the street and into those programs for help. All right, Carlos, thanks so much for that report.